So if you're like me, uh, you believe strongly that Saturday, last Saturday's incident with President Trump did not go as planned. I think that's pretty obvious. The plan was not to miss. The plan was not to give him an iconic photo. The plan was not to increase him, increase his numbers in the polls. The plan was not to give Trump a new, softer, more palatable personality. If you're like me and you watch Trump live like I did on Friday, Thursday, I'm sorry, or you watched his, uh, his, um, his uh, rally on Saturday, then you know that this new Trump is bigger and better. Uh, he even made fun of his own comb over, right? Like in a in what world will Donald would Donald Trump make fun of his own comb over? Yet we had this at the rally. This is this is not as planned. If I if I talk if this video of of Trump talking about his comb over self roasting would never have happened before last Saturday. You know, I, I have to just interject. If you would turn off those cameras, because I don't want this. See the screen up there of me? That's very severe, that comb over. That's a, that's a severe sucker. What's with that one? <laughs> it looks okay from the other side. But that is very severe. I apologize. Man. I looked up there. I said, whoa. I looked. <laughs> it's like total Trump, too, right? I looked up there, I said, whoa. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. That's like a work of art. He's talking about his own comb over. <laughs> Only look at that one. Don't look. That one looks. I mean, in what world? You know Trump is self-conscious about his hair, right? Like, a lot of guys get that way. Maybe they wear a hat all the time. Maybe they, like, you know, Trump definitely is. Okay. And so the fact that like, he's even like self roasting, the fact that he's self roasting tells you that this is a different Trump, right? They unleashed Trump Zilla, God emperor Trump by missing that day. And I think that obviously that did not go as planned, which is exactly why I believe that there will be, in my opinion, another attempt. Now, if we look at the way that things cascaded, okay, first we have, they tried to uh, destroy his character, right? Then that failed. So then they tried to put him in jail. Then that failed. Basically, all of that's fallen apart. And when that failed, there was an attempt to remove him from this planet. Now, whoever you think was pulling the strings, let me just ask you this. And again, this is just me speculating. I don't have any evidence of any. This is just how I feel. If, if you're watching right now and you feel the same, leave a like on the video. I feel like if the same people who orchestrated the lawfare against Trump, right? The, all the, you know, this ridiculous bending of the law, bending of everything in New York to get Trump on these ridiculous charges, in my opinion. I believe that they, those are the same people that pulled the strings to try to get him in Fulton County and the same people that tried to get him on the classified documents. That's my opinion. It's also my opinion that it is the same people that tried to destroy his character for the past eight years. And therefore, if we use Occam's razor, right? I love using Occam's razor. Wouldn't it at least be possible, perhaps even likely, that those same people would have also had some interest in what happened on the failed attempt of his life? Don't you think? I don't know this. I can't prove this. I'm not saying it's a fact. I'm not trying to spread m -m 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 misinformation. I don't know. But all I can tell you is what I feel. And what I feel is after the attempt to destroy his character, 
Then they tried to destroy his freedom. And when that failed, they just tried to destroy his life. And when that failed, just coincidentally, Joe Biden dropped out. And so it's for that reason and many more reasons that I believe that I agree with many of the things that Alex Jones is about to say in this clip. I've been on the air for 30 years, and this is the most important information I've ever covered. I just spent yesterday afternoon and all of today talking to more than a dozen top military snipers and black op commanders, Delta Force, Seam, SEAL Team 6, SEAL Team 3, you name it. Some of these guys are household names in the military community. Many of them did not want to go on air. Some of them are coming on the air tonight in just an hour or so, 4 p.m. Central, and tomorrow morning. And they're saying, hands down, inside job, beyond stand down, multiple shooters, but also. Now, again, this is just Alex's opinion. I am not saying it's fact. But what I can say is that I was on Tim Cast on Friday night and somebody was sitting next to me who goes by the name of like Brick Brick Suit Guy or something. Seemed like a very nice guy. Got no problem with him. Seemed like a nice guy. He said, just like the CIA, the CIA had said that there was quote unquote cascading failures. Essentially saying, oh yeah, he came through, he flew a drone ahead of time. Normally that's banned. Apparently it wasn't banned that day. Then he went through security with a rangefinder. That should be should have put him on a list immediately, but for some reason that didn't. Then people spotted him scoping out the sniper positions. Normally that should have raised red flags, but for some reason that didn't. Then they spotted him an hour before, then eight minutes, or then ten minutes before, then two minutes before. Every one of those, everybody made the mistake. The crowd, three, four, five minutes before the, the shots were fired yelling, there's a guy on the roof, there's a guy on the roof, there's a guy on the roof, he's armed. They let Trump walk out there. Ten minutes before Trump took the stage, the Secret Service knew, based on the information I've read, that there was a threat. And they let him walk out there anyway. And then they let him stand up afterwards. By the way, from what I understand about how Secret Service reacts to these things, Donald Trump's feet should have never touched the ground. They're supposed to pick him up and get him out of there. Okay. There was a guy next to me that presented the Swiss cheese theory, which as my wife's a pilot. You guys know I like to mention it every possible chance I get because I'm proud of her. Because it's obviously hard as a woman. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I'm not kidding. No, I'm kidding. Um, the, there's a Swiss cheese theory where basically it applies to any time a plane goes down, for example. You have, it's never like, oh, the wing just fell off. It's like, you're walking through a loaf of string of Swiss cheese and you just happen to, oh, um, this lug nut got missed. And then because that lug nut got mix, missed, um, you know, someone's wife called him and yelled at him and caught him cheating. So then they didn't check this other washer on this other thing. And then um, Alejandro wasn't there that day and he had been replaced. So then um, the secondary guy wasn't tall enough to see this thing. And it was all these things that you like go through the Swiss cheese to like, uh, you know, end up in a catastrophic incident. But the reality is, is like, what is the, what is the Occam's razor here? Is that they let the guy walk in. That's Occam's razor. What solution has the fewest leaps of faith is that, that, that he was let to walk in there. This is from multiple sources, including Jack Posobiec, who has incredible sources from feds on the ground that are good, that they found in his car, that's Crooks, the, the Patsy, and at his house, sophisticated military-grade explosives. He had help. He had offshore sites. He had offshore servers. He flew a drone over the facility right before the rally began. This guy had massive help and was simply the front man. The acoustics, with a whole bunch of engineers and others, and I talked to military that is looking at the acoustics, they agree, show that there was crooks on the roof at 450 feet away, and under, right under him, the window where the other shooter was. 
and looking at the stands on how people were hit and Trump's head turned. Now, he's saying there is also a theory out there that there was a second person inside the building. Now, that one is, a, is more of a leap than the water tower because inside the building was supposed to be law enforcement, unless law enforcement is being implicated here by Alex. They couldn't hit him on his right side by his ear if right here is where Crooks and the other shooter are. It's the water tower, which the feds have been guarding all week, kicked Senator Josh Howley out of the area, won't let anybody get around it. And notice they never had a press conference. You see a press conference that day, the next day, you hear about the gun, you hear about it all. They're totally silent on an AR-15, which the left says they want to ban. So I have talked to Army Special Operations, Delta Force, high-level SEALs, leaders, officers, you name it, and they concur with what I said six, seven days ago, eight days ago. This was an inside job. Now, there's been a lot of ways that people put this, and this might be one of the best ways because the Swiss cheese theory where all the holes lining up and having a perfect hole through the loaf of Swiss cheese this is perhaps a, a better way that I saw one of my viewers nuanced day say, and I think I'll, I'll kind of end this segment on that. So many failures of Secret Service, it couldn't be accidental. It has to be deliberate. Quote, it'd be like Michael Jordan in his prime missing 10 free throws in a row. It would be impossible. I'll leave you with that, and, 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 and I hope and I pray for Donald Trump's safety because the country needs it. And uh, I, I think that I, I mean, I 100 percent believe Alex and that there will be another attempt on him. There's no doubt in my mind. No, zip zero. It's not even close. There'll be another there'll be another attempt on him. And, um, you know, I hope that it will also be unsuccessful. But these days it's very, very difficult to know.